How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys three of the best VPNs for Binance, especially if you're in the States or if you're in anywhere where Binance isn't fully available. I'll show you guys how you can access Binance using a VPN. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, by the way, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about them. So while Binance is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, unfortunately, the full version isn't available in the US. It's slimmed down and full of restrictions that will prevent you from using Binance to its full potential. So this is where a VPN will come in. Uh, how you can access Binance using a VPN is fairly simple. Now, I would recommend that you don't try to uh, access the website before you connect to the correct server. Otherwise, you will get a uh, well, the wrong version of Binance. And if it's the States version, if you're in the States and you try to access Binance, you won't have access to Binance.com. You'll have access to Binance US. So if I try to access Binance right now, um, let's just go to Binance, see what happens. Uh, you'll notice because I'm connected to a US server. Now I'm not in the States, but because I'm connecting to the US server, it's going to force me to go to Binance US rather than uh, keep me here in Binance.com. So because I've already tried accessing Binance on my regular website, on my regular browser, excuse me, I'm going to have to use incognito mode. Otherwise, it will show me a different version of Binance. You don't want to uh, use Binance. Uh, uh, you don't want to try to access Binance before you've connected to a VPN or you could use an incognito mode. But what I would recommend is that you clear your cache, you clear your cookies, and then try to access Binance. Here, I'm only just trying to show you guys that if you try to access Binance from the United States, you're not gonna be able to access Binance.com, which is the full version of Binance. You'll be able to access the Binance US. So unfortunately, you'll be forced into Binance US. So what we're going to do is Again, you don't want to access Binance from the uh, United States server. You don't want to uh, visit the website in, at all before you, act, before you connect to the correct server. So it is available in Switzerland. So let's go ahead and try Switzerland and just uh, connect to Binance. And uh, we'll, see if we're, we'll see if we're going to get, it is available fully in uh, Switzerland, so we shouldn't be redirected to any kind of lacking Binance version. So yeah, it seems like we do have full access to Binance and I'm not gonna accept these cookies right here. Again, if you want to access Binance from not a non-incognito page, just a regular page, and you've already tried to visit Binance before, I'd recommend that you clear your cookies and cash. So yeah, uh, that'll be pretty much it in terms of how to access Binance from the US, for example, or any other, any other country where Binance is not available in its full capacity. And while it's perfectly legal to do this, it's worth noting that it goes against Binance's terms of service for US residents to use a VPN to access Binance. So there is a risk that your account may be suspended if you're caught. But the good news is, these VPNs are very good at unblocking uh, Binance's region restrictions without being detected thanks to their obfuscation technologies. So these will properly mask your IP address and obfuscate your traffic so that it doesn't look like uh, the Binance or your ISP for that matter won't be able to tell they're using a VPN in the first place. Uh, obviously, these are very high quality VPNs and, you know, even if you don't want to pay that premium price, this is why I kind of have three listed here. So you've got ExpressVPN as the overall best option, followed up by Nord and Surfshark being the uh, very uh, budget-friendly option here. With ExpressVPN, you have over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. So no matter where you're living, you'll be able to find a server uh, nearby for high speeds. And you have the basic features such as the kill switch, which will stop your internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. 
preventing any data leaks from happening, any unexpected data leaks. And split tiling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. You've also got a handful of protocols. Lightweight UDP will definitely be the best one uh, to choose. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription with ExpressVPN. With NordVPN, you've got over 5,100 servers in 60 countries. And even though it's 34 less countries than ExpressVPN, you can tell that it's covering almost most of the globe as well. It's just that ExpressVPN has a whole lot more options uh, than both of these VPNs, but these are still great VPNs. You've got a bunch of specialty servers here if you're interested in that kind of thing. You've got an ad blocker, uh, the best protocol, which is NordLynx, definitely the fastest one a kill switch, not only just a conventional kill switch, just like ExpressVPN, but also an app kill switch, which will close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops, unlike the conventional kill switch, split town link, just like Express, and an easy way to change your DNS with custom DNS right here and obfuscated servers if you're in a censorship heavy country. And with Surfshark, you'll be able to secure an unlimited number of devices, uh, unlike Nord's six and ExpressVPN's five devices per subscription. So this can be a very useful and convenient option for those that want to perhaps share their account with a bunch of people. You still get specialty servers such as a double VPN, which is called MultiHop here and static IP. If you didn't know, MultiHop will route your connection through two servers rather than one for extra security and static IP will always give you the same uh, IP address every time you return to. Uh, these uh, servers and you've got whitelister which is called split tunneling in surfshark the kill switch and ad blocker and a handful of protocols as well as no borders mode which will help you reach uh or bypass the great firewall of china so, the, so that you can access banned websites uh so yeah overall all these vpns i have been selected based on their ability to unblock binance uh they are security they're very secure with audited no logs policies and infrastructure audits server infrastructure audits uh they're very fast and they have varied prices that cater to most people uh, express vpn being the easiest to use and most kind of uh, premium service that comes with the premium price nordvpn being sort of in the middle and surfshark being the most convenient one so that'll be it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. If you'd like to learn more about these VPNs, keep in mind that all these VPNs are covered by a 30 day money back guarantee, which of course you can access no matter which plan you decide to go for. And keep in mind, you are able to access the uh, refund or ask for the refund through the live chat support, which is available uh, on all these VPNs respective websites. I'm just showing you ExpressVPN as an example. You'll find the live chat support typically at the bottom right here with all these VPNs on their websites. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.